Now we'll use MATLAB to demonstrate how we can implement the uh, controller uh, in, in, in state space. And what I did here, I just uh, defined the uh, transfer function. And when I, that's the second order system. This system, of course, uh, if you look at the area part of the presentation, uh, has uh, open loop poles at minus 0.7 and minus 4.3. And if you implement um, output feedback, unity feedback, uh, that will place the poles, the closed loop poles at minus one and minus four. So the system is over damped. And we need, now we need to use a state variable control to um, place the closed system poles at minus eight plus or minus J11. So the first thing first, I need to transfer this system into uh, state uh, variable and uh, we'll add this so what I'm doing here is transfer using TF to steady state command I'm not sure whether the marker will work no the marker doesn't work with MATLAB so I end up with my A, B, C's and D's you can see here on the right hand side that the uh, in the workspace I have the A, B, C, and D. Actually, I have even the transfer function N, G, and D, G. So that will come in handy when building the Simulink simulation. Uh, I'm actually going to start now by launching Simulink. Simulink. And in a second, the Simulink library should appear. And it does file a new model, and I will call this model uh, uh, second order system. Sys, of course, that's not acceptable, so I have to use underscore. And, oh, doesn't matter leave it as untitled for now what I'm going to do here I'm going to go get my first I'm going to just do classical system and I need a source uh, a step and a sync and a cell scope and I will change this transfer function I'll put ng because ng is already here in the workspace. I can type it again, but it's and apply. So this is my transfer function, and I can look at the performance of this system as it is an open loop. And Auto scale. You can see the system is very slow when we know that it's over damped. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to implement this system using state space. State space. How can I get that uh, continuous? I get this block. I'm actually going to use the block. I'm not going to use the integrators. And so what else do I need? Uh, I will need a signal router because I wanted to put both outputs on the same scope. Mm. Oops. Now, that's my router. Then here, A, I know that A is stored already. And I can type it, but I'm not going to bother. B is B, C is actually C, and D is D. Uh, apply, OK. So I have that's my steady state space. 
just to prove that the two systems are equivalent, I will run and I look at the oscilloscope. I can't see much really because I only can see one line. Well, what I'm going to do is I will go to the scope properties and change one of the styles. I'm just to make it uh, crosses. Okay, then you can see immediately that you have one presentation which is the uh, purple color and the other representation is exactly identical, the crosses. We know that anyway, so the two representations are identical. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, design uh, feedback state feedback control so i will delete this i will delete this for now i might need it later but um, i don't want to complicate things so my system is like that now i will need again well for, let's do the first thing I i'm going to use the place command to find the gains that will place the poles at the right position and that gave me the gains of course two state variables two gains therefore x1 and x2 so and it appeared it must have appeared somewhere here okay yes it's there so i go back to the model and i also need the library i am going to have my output now from here I'm going to change it to i of 2. Why i of 2? It's second order system. So if I add identity matrix, the state variables will be multiplied by that new C. And I get it's not. Well, when I do that, it would require D to be entered as 0 and 0. Apply. Okay. Now, I don't get Y from here. I actually get all the state variables. So I will get the two of them. So what will happen is I will need to demux them. So that output from here is my state variables. Uh, the input, oh, I deleted that step. So the step is back in. And I am going to have again, commonly used, I should find it and I, I'll take that gain. But that gain now I need first of all Control I to reverse its direction will take the output from the state variable which is a vector 2 by 2 and here I will call that gain as K because it's already in the work space but I will have to change it to a matrix K multiplied by U apply OK I will also need to I have a negative feedback this is I need to change the sign here to make negative feedback then we'll connect the various elements and oh one thing is missing I have C, the original C, says to me that Y is CX, so it's 0 multiplied by X1, 1 multiplied by X2. So actually, my actual output, actually my actual output is just 
x2. If I leave this open like that, I don't need x1 for anything now. It's not going to work. Why it's not? It will give an error. So I will just use a go to the sinks and get a terminator. So because x1 terminates here. Now I will run and you can see oh of course now we have only one trace you we don't need to model all that you can see that the system is much faster with the feedback state feedback it's much faster but huge huge steady state error before i deal with that you note that the trace is broken it's not very smooth line this is because the scope is not taking enough uh, elements, enough data points. So I will run the just the simulation parameters and I will go to data, import, export. I don't know this refined factor here. When it's one, you don't get a smooth curve. I'll change it to five. It's, the problem is too small anyway. So I will run again. And you see that the curve is much smoother. Actually, I can go back to the scope and, and the style and delete these axes because I don't need them anymore. I only have one trace. Well, apparently I added something rather than deleted them. I did none. Okay. You see, that's the curve now. It's clear that system is much faster. However, huge steady state error. What do we do? What do we do? We define, we add, first I'll just delete this one. We add here an integrator with a gain. So I'll go to continuous and I will just take a commonly used block actually. I can find the gain integrator. Can also find the gain. I don't know what this gain is. I will just call this KI, the gain for the integrator. And this one I will call it KX, which is my original, the gain for my original state variables then i also need to add an output feedback outer loop output feedback so i will need one of those again it's a negative feedback And that's an output. That's my output, which has changed by the addition of the the integrator, the new state. So all what's left for me now is to find the new value of the gains. And <coughs> um, see, but to get the new values of the gain, I have to modify my A's and B's. And if you remember, we had to add zeros and to the B matrix, to the A also, and we call it A star. <coughs> and I will, A star is A, I added zeros two and one remember that this two is the rank of the system the order of the system or the rank of the matrix a and b star is b and I added another row which is zero and for this now i'm going to let me replace well not replace <coughs> let me try to place the new uh, pole we added at a minus 100, far away from the minus 8. KKI, because that's the new, the new uh, gains, but when we added the integrator, 
and it's place a star b star these are the modified a and b matrices to take into account the new state we added and then i will add a vector which is i'll put the additional pole first and so these are my all poles oh i need to close the bracket useful that i make mistakes so you don't make them so remember here i get three values but look at this here it's all multiplied by 10 to the power 4 so actually the first gain 111 so when we apply all the gain values <coughs> we get the uh, model and it's ready to run and if we run it we look at the output just scale it and you can see that it's much faster than without feedback and now the error has been completely eliminated and that shows that shows how we we, we can uh, implement not only state variable feedback but also the output feedback with adding a free integrator what you need to remember is you modify for the new system you modify a star or call it a new it doesn't matter the main thing is a star and b star or a new and b new don't go into this block here this block is still based on the original system and the other thing to note whatever you uh, uh, put uh, whatever order you put your poles the gains you will get as for x1 for x2 and for the additional pole and to show that actually we can go the additional pole here the gain is 1.85 10 to plus 4 so it seems to be working and giving us good results that's how we should do it good luck